G'day, how you going? Ian Apples here, your acrylic guru from Australia. Well, welcome to my video. Today I'm doing a painting from a reference photo and a good member in my art group, Lisa Maria Malongo, she's a photographer and she let me use this photo. I saw something in this photo that I can use as a tutorial. I did ask her for a permission and she said, absolutely, Ian. So it's a great little subject for beginners to get their hands, their canvas and their brushes on and make something happen with it, okay? So while we get started, I've got some knives here. Now I'm not sure, I might, because the knives that I got, they're either too big or too small. So I'm gonna try and give it a go, but if I don't, well then I'll be using flat brushes. All right, got me milk there. Now, I'll bring you over here in a minute. I do have some craft paint because I've got to prepare the canvas for some blending. Um, and I will show you the photo. Uh, Retarder's up here as well. I'll bring you over for that and I put her on a brush for the retarder. We've got some craft paint down there also, okay? So I'm gonna bring you all the way over here. Let's show you the photo first down there that Lisa Maria Longo took. It's got a nice sunset in there and a park bench, okay? It's probably not that clear. So I'm gonna turn that a bit just so it doesn't balk the vision. Now, oh, I've gotta turn one of the lights out there. It's a little bit on the bright side. There we go. Now I've just done the a few lines here, but all this area here is going to be sky water reflections and stuff like that. So down here, I've got my craft paint, student paint, poster paint, or as I call it, flow white. It's just because it's out of a bottle and it's really weak consistency. It doesn't have much grunt in it, but it's good enough for mixing with your retarder and getting a surface ready to blend sky colors on. So I'll get all this on there mixed in my beautiful big size two inch, put it on a brush, is it two or two and a half inch, 50 millimeters. We go by millimeters here in Australia. So we'll get this all, get it all mixed in there. There we go. I will just mask up the bottom before I put my camera there, just so as we don't get retarder in there. Sorry about that. Because I don't want retarder in all this area here. Makes it hard. Right, I'm going to crisscross that, get it into my canvas. I've got a toothed linen canvas artist quality canvas here. The better canvas you can get, the better finish you'll get with your paintings, the better quality brush, I mean paint you use, the better you'll get your paintings as well. This canvas is already gesso primed, I don't care if it is or isn't, but I'm putting this craft paint and retarder on it anyway. Now I'm gonna stroke that left and right as I normally do, just to get it even without any surprising lumps in there, okay? There's the size of the canvas there, 12 inches by 16 inches, and the colors I'm using will be listed in the links under the description below. Okay, I'm just rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. There we go, I can feel that looking pretty good now. Now what I've got, I'll use my finger, the horizon line is about out here. It's sort of on a, in the photo, it's sort of going up but I don't want to go too far up because if a beginner follows every footstep and they're not realizing what's supposed to happen, they could make a mistake. And I don't want a beginner to make a mistake. I want them to be happy painting. Now, I'm just going to, yeah, I better wash this because it needs to be clean for the next procedure. So, I'll get this chair out of the way. I'm walking a bit funny because I've got this cable here, it's my mic, my lapel mic cable. And sometimes I walk funny so as I don't pull it out. And some people thought I had a sore back or a sore hip. Wasn't the case though. I'm sorry I can't read any comments here. I mean, I might try if I get the chance, but it's just a live painting tonight. So I give that brush a wash 
and a good severe flogging, ready to put some beautiful colours in there, eh? Get that out of the way. All right, back over here. Now, I've got my colours ready, so I'm going to bring you down to the canvas. No, down to the palette. I always get the canvas and palettes mixed up. Sometimes I go, let's go down to the canvas when I should be going down to the palette. Now, I'll quickly put these colours on there. Um, quinacridone magenta. Is that the colour I want? No, I want... That's too... What colour is that one? Yeah, no, I do want that one, actually. A bit of quinacridone magenta. Not too much, because I'm... Oh, that's very strong paint. And we need some grey. You know, I'm an idiot. I should have put this on the palette first, saved me some time. A teeny weeny bit of cerulean blue. Like I said, the colours will be listed below for the replay. All right. Now, we want to start with the yellow. So I want to pick up the Indian yellow. Look at that yellow. It's rich, beautiful, sweet and fantastic. Oh, I love it. You know what? I could have put more in there, you tight bugger. Get some more on there, you. It'll be so tight. There you go. I want to get right into this painting. I love painting when I'm in the mood. All right, so I showed you before, there's my horizon line. So pretty much from that point to there's my horizon line. So I'm going to get this in the middle. I'm pushing it into the canvas. Now I'm going to turn my brush this way and then start bleeding it down into the water, not so far, gradiently done. This brush is excellent for doing that. See how quick it was done? No more buggerizing around. And then the same at the top. Just there like that. All right, so now we're going to add, see the big, hang on a minute, let me just frig dig around like an artist. There's a quite heavy band in the middle, which is what I was wanting. Now I'm not going to wash that because that quinacridone magenta, I want to mix a bit just to get orange happening. See here, look at that. Very powerful paint, that one, I reckon. Michael de Brognos, there you go. Yeah, the glass is great for mixing paint. Yeah, it can as well. Is that enough? Oh, I think I wanted a little bit more redder than that. Yeah, we go. Look at that. Yeah, because I want sort of the orangey red colour. Get carried away. Way reading Michael de Brogno's comment there about the glass palette. All right, now we're going to go where bits here, there, because <clears throat> it's sort of jaggering in. Same in the water there. Okay, there's my main yellow band, and we got this red there like that. Then we can probably get some of it up into the sky, all the way over here, there like that and probably some in the water like that. Where are we in the water? There you go, something like that, all right? Now we've got to blend that. I'm gonna try and blend with this. So I'm gonna use the tip of the brush because the tip of the brush has, I don't know if you can see, there's no paint on it. There's bugger all, it's all gone, it's all up here. Okay. Now I'll get that done, yeah, beautiful, love it. Get that done, lineal, yep and then get this done here. I'm blending it into that there. See, I'm pushing the paint on when I want, going back to the tip of the brush when I want. See, so I blended all that with this putter on a brush. There we go, and we might have a, there, yeah, that's it. Now the blue is actually gray, so I need to wash this again and give this brush a bit of a flogging. So we'll come back over here. Walk over there like an idiot, because I've got a lead hanging out of me legs. All right. I'll give it a flogging. 
stay tuned for this week's Friday Night Live, 8 p.m. Perth, Western Australia time. I've got a surprise for you is coming up in that show. I'm not saying nothing more. Big surprise coming up. And a lot of you are gonna be involved, wanna be involved, can be involved. And there'll be a first place and two runner-ups. Now, we've got our grey sky, but I don't wanna be just grey, grey. You gotta be artistic, where are you? Can you see that there, yep. And get a little bit of cerulean blue. I probably didn't even need that much cerulean blue on me palette. Keep going there. And mixing it to that grey you want with a tinge of blue. Oh, yep, beauty nuke, look at that. G'day, Bruce, how you going, mate? Didn't think you would forget me. No, I don't forget you, Bruce. You're a patient, good artist, got your thing going on there. All right, got that paint. Hear it, listen to that cracking, listen. Hear that? To me, that's saying good quality. Now, I want to get this grey <clears throat> coming I'm coming from here, okay, into there. I don't want to start bringing too much there. There's a reason why I'm doing it this way. So I'm getting it on and into there. And lo and behold, I didn't quite mix enough. So I'm quickly putting more on. Where's the grey tube? There it is. Bear with me a minute. I can edit this bit out. And then get back into putting it onto the canvas, can't I? So we're getting this, oh yeah, there we go, into that, into that there, there like that. Be careful, you don't want it going green, that's why I've got the grey in there. And in the water, ugh, right in there. Where else have we got? Probably a little bit over there like that. All right, got it going. Now I want to pull it into that sky colour there, where I can. If you have trouble doing this, just do something like this as a practicing procedure to learn how to do it and then do it into a painting. Some beginners can fall into the trap of watching a tutorial or someone paint and go, okay, that's what you've got to do. And then they just do it and they don't realise um, that they didn't practice how to do it. And the more you practice something, the better you become at it, executing it. There we go. Bit of water there. Now this will make sense when it's all coming into play. It's just that flavour of the sky. Okay. Cool bananas. It's going with some um, perspective. Is it perspective or perspective? Yes, perspective. Julie Pitham down here again. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, stupid question. What is gesso used for, please? Gesso is a primer. Um, it just primes up a surface so you can paint on it. It's pretty much ceiling white that you paint your ceilings in your house with. Now I'm looking for a couple of um, fan brushes here. Here we go. And I better grab some titanium white and some that grey, where's that grey again? See this blue here? I want a bit more grey in that. And I'm gonna grab, they're just small clouds, so I'm gonna use my small fan brush, okay? Uh, get some of that blue in there. Maybe a little bit of magenta. Quinacridone magenta. Just, I'm getting a grey, but sort of that purpley sort of grey. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but if you whoever buys this painting would see the charisma and detail. Now there's me line there and there again for me. Um, what do you call it? What do you call it? Horizon line. I'm doing some clouds here, okay? These are dark because the sun's gone down. So what I'm trying to do, I've just got the corner of the fan brush, I'm creating some incredible loveliness. Absolute bullshit, watch. And it's up to you 
here you go. I've looked at the reference, but I'm not going to get lost and try and copy the reference. I'm just using it because it's got clouds here, so I'm just going to put them the way I want. I'll put that down like a gentleman for a minute. I'm going to grab a small blending brush and just kind of sit that down within that retarded paint underneath, making turmoil. A lot of this is going to be just peeking over the top of the buildings there, but I still want to give it some love and charisma. Okay, just so is where you start, yeah. And see, it's a bit different to that blue up there, okay. Pick up some more. It's just sort of chopping, where's that there? So you got, I'm gonna put some in front of there. There we go. There we go. I'll blend that. If your paint's building up on your blending brush, it's important to wipe the build up off, okay? just to help you do a clean blend all the time. Leaving blended paint on build up on your brush can give you grief inside your um, blending. Now a bit more. What I'm going to do, I'm just adding a little bit more, <coughs> excuse me, um, quinacridone magenta into that mix because it's, here we go, and yeah, look at that getting the tops there, gaps in between it. You pretty much stamp a cloud on. That's what I do. My procedure is to stamp the body of the cloud on, grab a blending brush and sit that down, tapping it, pulling it, twisting it, creating turmoil, okay? All the way down there into some of that yellow there. We're gonna have buildings in front of this a little bit of greenery, shrubs, whatever. But this is just making up some lovely, probably one right here as well, some lovely sun setting clouds where the sun's behind them. Is that camera over there enough? There we go. And turmoil. Turmoil, the turmoil is what makes a cloud kind of realistic. I'll get that up a bit. It's just, get something up there, yeah. There we go, turmoil. Okay, that's our clouds. And we've probably got just the smidgy bidgies. Where's our thing here? See here, I'm gonna just quickly, this is a different color. I'm gonna just quickly, everything's still wet because I retarded this up a bit. There we go, I'll block it there, that'll do. Don't have buildings in the way anyway, but they're there. I'm just pulling them down. Maybe that way as well. They're just there, the elements of it's there. Probably didn't even need to do that. Okay, now let's grab this one. And we'll get something just high up in the sky there, okay? Just maybe something coming overhead. There's none of it, none of it in the actual reference, but I want something there. See here, I want some distance. Create that all the way over our head now, coming here. I won't go anywhere lower there. I'm creating a body there. And there we go. If anything, that's V'd up, coming up over our head. That's in my, in my mind what's happening with those clouds. Looks like you can look down over them there, far away across that land there, eh? Get the bottom bummed up, even give it a bit of a smear, a bit of an artistic touch there. and kind of blend the tops up to oblivion there with some turmoil boom probably don't need any yumminess in these because they're just there they're just filling up some of the sky there okay I want to thank Lisa Maria Mlongo for this photo she's a good artist she's in the group the art group of mine check her out Yeah, this, this is the sky done now. I'm not going to do any more to that. This is not even in the picture, but I just wanted to add it there because it's just what I wanted to do. That's it. I'll give a bit more of a lineal thing out there. Yeah, I love doing them. I don't know why. This It's great. Sky looks all right, eh? How many have we got there? 72. I've got to dry the horizon here so I can get the thing on. I can take that off. And what I do, I just want to... Get rid of that ridge of paint there. So when I paint, you won't 
feel or see a ridge of paint there. So that's ready to dry. Okay, that's dry. Now we need some brushes which are here. I'll grab a glass, a mouthful of my milk. Yeah, they're grey. That's that's grey with a blue tinge in it. I don't know, the camera's making it look green. Um, don't tread on your wire, Ian. Uh, what do we need? We need some trees there. So well, let's grab the... Um, Forest green down here. <coughs> Forest green, and a, where's me black? Oh, me towels covering it up. I'll get a bit of black as well, and some cadmium yellow. Now, I hope that's dry enough. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, find the appropriate brush. I'm going to start off with a flat. So, uh, no, I won't. <laughs> Where's my little... I'll just grab this thing here, this little flat cat tongue filbert. And I'm going to get a bit of dark green mixed here. And I want to get from point to point right in the middle from there to there right from there to there to there to there from there okay there we go we've relaxed that on there now where our trees are going to be there's also going to be some buildings in front of them so we're going to have a couple of trees here. Try and get some air in between them. This is not exact like the picture. I'm using the picture as a subject, okay? Get some trees down here. Boom, boom. Pick up some more. And have a house there. There'll be a house there. I know that, so I can leave a gap. And then we'll put something behind. Oh, bit up here, some air in between, getting some tree there. Okay. Doesn't matter if this gets covered up, I've got it there, so if it's there, it's there. If it's not, well, it doesn't matter. It was there when it was needed. Um, down here, I want to get some tree there and pull as I put it on pulling it as I put it on just pulling it as I put it on see all these lines there I'm going to turn my brush around I think this hang on I'll try and go this way here yeah, there we go and then just pull them down just so they got that reflection look about them the reflection in the actual photo is very sharp there's not much distortion at all but I want to change my reflection up a bit just because it's a it's a piece of art it's some painting and I just want to do that to mine okay I never really do a um, reference when I'm using a reference I never really do it exact now there is a distinct tree here so we'll put that there as well. I'll blur that one in there like that. And it's some kind of cotton palm. So we'll just get that happening there. Some kind of cotton palm with this little brush here. Pull it down, pull it some sharp bits. Oh yeah, it's looking quite, I like that. Just loosely painting this, it's great. Dab it on and pull some prong, palm prongs out of there. Look at that. And the subtlest highlights in this, gonna be great. Now, like I said before, keep a lookout for my next Friday Night Live. Got a surprise there. 
and then we'll just the same here try and mimic uh, this in the water there to a degree Hopefully that's something like it, to a degree. There we go. It's looking a bit empty at the moment because there's a lot to go in the middle that'll bring it home, okay? Uh, we do have a nice big bush over here I want to put in there. And I want to come down into the painting. I don't want to come up into the painting. I always like to bring the edge down into the painting. A lot of beginners sh should know that within their first couple of months of painting and if they don't, well it'll just be a matter of time. There we go, we'll get all this blocked in there. Because this is going to have highlights and all sorts of stuff on it as well. And then um, this will be the same there. The reflection doesn't have to be the same height as the actual top half because there is distortion from the levels, if you know what I mean. Wipe that, I just want to pull that a bit, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so there's probably just a bit more shrubbery over here. Nothing too big, because there's some beautiful houses. And see, what I was going to do, whether I can or not, I don't know. I was going to knife in like kind of a um, abstract style of the houses through this sunset horizon area of the painting. Okay, and there's just a couple of, um, see like this palm tree here, because it's distance away there, there's a few of them out there somewhere. I've done all this just with this flat cat tongue filbert. Okay, something there. And that'll do it, I think that'll do it. Um, where are we? That's enough for that. I've got to wash that brush because I want to finish those ones off before I put the houses in front, okay? So I'll quickly dry that. Rubbery enough's good enough. Okay, that's dry. Now I'm going to grab some of my cadmium yellow light. I've washed that brush and the forest green just to get a yellow green going. Now this has got the sun behind it so this doesn't want to be bright. I just want it enough to show some artistic detail within those trees there okay. So let's just see if that's good enough. On the tops mainly, on the tops bring it in a bit. There we go, on the tops a little bit. Leaving the darks there. The dark is giving you depth within these trees. Leaving bits of dark there. Is that close enough? See, this will stand out when it's dry. And the same in the shadow there. Little bits of this within that dark colour there. Not too much. Uh, we could probably... Very touch it lightly, just get something in front of there. That's okay. And over to this one. I didn't put much paint on there, so it's not going to take much to dry it. I want to get mainly yellow. 
mainly yellow now. Look at this. Mainly yellow. Just to bring some Fabo stuff to the reflections there. Getting some of this within there. And get some of this within there as well. I'm just doing it on these big brushes here. I'm not going to worry about the um, palms. Okay. Too easy, eh? All right. Now we'll quickly finish off the rest of it. I need the um, brown. I'm going to get burn umber. And I'm going to get white and grey. I'm just putting some blobs on the cam, not the canvas, some blobs on the um, palette down here just to scratch in our buildings there. White, grey, what other colour is there? Pretty much it. A bit of a yellow or a yellow ochre will do as well. There we go. Now I've got some flat brushes here. I'm just going to use the flat brushes that I've picked and I want to get a couple. Uh, so I'm going to bring them down past into the water as well as I do it, then I'll break it up with the bit of foreground in front of that, the bit of a bank, okay? So I'll use the white first. Pick up this, I'll chisel it onto my brush here. Okay, and I'm gonna map in a building. So we got one pretty much here. Down, bang. Up there, point there. Did I draw it? Come down. Come down. Yeah, see that's mixing with the green. I better dry that. There we go, let's go again. Now, I'm just pretty much mapping in the buildings where I see them. So this one's there. He's gonna go all the way down there as well, into the water as well and down there like that. Okay, just, just roughly, it's gonna have other colors on top of this. This is pretty much primering it all. So there we go like that. Yeah, see that white paint was turning green there. You don't want that to happen. And I'm looking at the thing there. We've got another couple of buildings coming out here. Bang, same thing down the bottom. I'm just transferring it down the bottom as well. I'll get that bit cut up there. there. Oh my goodness, I hope this works. I'm just... Get another one up here. Coming down there. And I've got to pretty much do the same thing there. There we go. Push that in there. This is the bit I was going to do with the knives, but my knives are not quite the right size. The bottom doesn't have to be perfect. That can be a bit blurry. That's okay. So there, we got another one about here somewhere, which is pretty much all the way. Boom, boom. This is the boring bit, sorry about this. To the ground there. I'm kind of working from the back. Uh, where are we about there? I'm kind of working from the back forward because there's going to be bits in front of this as well. So bear with this a minute while it's looking a bit mumble jumble. Alright, and we've got some more buildings all the way out here. So we've got something there and something there. 
get it in the water there, yeah. Something there. I'm just mumble jumble on this scene. I'm not hardly watching the um, picture. I'm just getting some kind of idea. Now there's some big stuff here, sort of bigger ones with their lights on, and that's going to come into play when we put their light reflections on in the water there as well. So that'll come into play. And what's here? And another, another big, big one on its own. Where are we? Big one coming up here, right in front of that flat roof. Get on there, yeah. Flat roof up there. Coming along here. About there somewhere. Okay. Glad I finally finished that white bit because. It's a boring bit. Cool, cool, cool. Because I'm going to put the buildings on first, then I'll bring the rest of the foreground in front of this, okay? That looks crazy, doesn't it, eh? What did he do? All right, I'm just drying, washing that out, drying it. I'm going to dry that white. All right. Ooh, let me turn my heater off. It is cooking in here. Hang on a minute. Presto, that's off. Now, these colours that I put here before, I want to get some of this brown and I want to mix some of that a different value. Okay. So I want a couple of different values of um, paints here. I'm going to grab this one here as well and I'll probably pull another value of that out as well. So just getting some white in that as well. I need some more white so I'll put some there. Put some more there. Can your camera pick that up? Yes. So I'm, and I've got a different brush for this. That's only because I'm filming so I need things to speed along a bit. Okay. But it's important to see. Pick what colours you want for your buildings here. And we'll find another flat, here we go, a bit of a chiseled edge one. And we'll get some grey and some light grey there, okay? Just some building colours. And we obviously got the dark brown as well. So now I want to do the roof. Here we go, so we'll come to this one. I'm just going to try and use the reference as a guide to get some rough roof areas in. So this roof here can come all the way down there like, where are we, to there like that, beautiful. Come down there like that. Which one was it there? And the same over here, hang on. Same over here, boom, in the water. Uh, where are we, coming down, oh, where are we, boom. I'm, I'm losing it, I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, maybe a bit over here somewhere, a bit of this colour over there somewhere. Put the same in the bottom there. And some of this one can go for the walls in this one. So down there, down there. Now we're going to grab the brown with the white mixed into it. I'm sort of finding these colours. So we've got like a bit of the um, building here and we'll have some of this blurred in there and coloured in here. Under there, under there, there we go. And we'll add some bits of darker detail over this as well as we go along, just to bring things in a bit. We've got a couple of windows here, there. Where's that colour? We'll do this one's wall. So he's got his roof there, we'll do some wall there. Something there like that. I've got to make room for the um, mid, mid ground as well. And now I'm just going to pick up some of the darker one because we need some dark over here. Boom. 
and in the water. Boom. Okay. Where are we? The darker colour. And we got some dark roofing in here somewhere. This one has a bit of a dark roof, doesn't it? So we got this one here. He's got a bit of a dark roof there. Whom. Whom, like that. What else is over there? And a bit of this in front. <laughs> Looking funny at the moment, eh? Uh, what other colour do we need? We need another brush. I'll find another flat. Uh, so many flats here, and we're going to grab the the yellow ochre on its own. Uh, where are we? Oh no, not sorry, not the yellow ochre on its own. I've got to wash it now. The white on its own, which could be the grey actually. I'll I'll just make it that grey colour, the whitey grey colour, because we've got a lot of Tuscany white roofs looking out there, so. Yeah, look at that beautiful, subtle thumb here. Just straight away where you go, copy the um, reflection colour in as well, okay? Down here, down here. Now even if you wanted to paint this painting, you can even just delete the houses and have just a group of trees there. I just wanted to try the houses just for the sake of it. This is the grey colour. Boom. Boom. Where are we? What else is along there? Here yeah, we got some There, some dark brown, some so I'll pick up just some dark brown on its own. Get some of that jostling around here somewhere. Because there's a lot of light. There's gonna be some bright lights in there. What's over there? A bit of a brown roof here, so we'll get that right in there like that. And we'll mimic that in the water as well. Always mimic everything in the water straight away. Now we've got to get a smaller flat because I'm getting the darker colour with maybe a bit of black in there. And in here now we're just adding the, the door up there and then the water. A window there, something in the water. Something here, a bit square looking and something in the water. Okay. Uh, what else do we have there? We've got stuff in here now. We've got some windows here. Whatever, whatever's in there. Over here. Oh, excuse me, I left a... Um, I left... Uh, I left something on. I better just close that page. Is everything, let me just go back here. All right, back here. I'm just putting stuff real quick here because if we don't hurry, an hour will be up already. A lot of you know I like to try and do me lives within an hour, but if they go over, so be it. But I can edit them. But me um, battery sometimes dies around that time. And what else is there? Now I've got to get 
the bright color, which is white to yellow. There it is there. I'm going to grab this brush, wetting it, grabbing a bit of this yellow. I do have some white as well. Just want a bright light color, real thick. And I just want to, not green in, let's see how that looks. It needs to be a bit whiter than that, so I'll just use the white side over here. Where are we? Come on, I'll put too much yellow. We'll get there, we'll get there, getting there. I'm picking up some of the white and yellow. And just here, there's a lot of lights reflecting in the building, like lights are on in this part of the building here. So I want these facets there. Hopefully that looks like it. Little bit, there's a bit of a glary bit there, yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, nothing's on there, but we can put a bit on in there. So we'll put something on there, something on there. Something there, something there. Now I've got to dry that. I'm going to wash the flat cat tongue I had before. I'm picking up that darker colour green that we had here. Now it needs to be reasonably, not too wet, but enough to transfer from your brush to the canvas, okay? And then we can, I might need a flat for this. I'll grab my bullshit stick. Because from there, I want that line reasonably level. So I'm going to rest it on the stick, get it right across the guts of that first so I know where I'm at. Right along there like that. I'll get a darker. I need a flat, that flat, that cat tongue's rubbish. So I'm gonna wash this other one here and get that one, get all the white out of it. It's got white in there. Pick up that color in it. This is a flat. Get that in there, come on. Right across there. Take the bullshit stick away. I'll wipe that. Now let's get that the way we want it in. I want land here. Still seems a little bit on the wet side, I think. So what I'm doing, there's a building there with the land on it. I'm gonna create that land. What do you call it, a, a bank? That's a bank. See, it's breaking up, so I've got to wet it a bit more. Just so this paint doesn't break up. When it's sharp, it just looks great. Ooh, big blob, get rid of that. Get that nice and... Get over there. Come down in the water on the water side now. Oh no, what a big blob that is. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Yes. Looks like a big clot. <laughs> big clot. Let's get this all pumped up in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I'm going to do, while I've got this colour, I'll wet it a lot more because it's got to be done. I'll paint around that park bench and I'll get this all over here as well. Just so as I can get it done. This is just pretty much um, blocking it in. 
just something rough as guts like that because it's going to be all hidden so don't worry that'll do that'll dry while I'm doing the other bit anyway okay so we've got this bank enough see the bottom side of the bank can come lower in the water hiding some of the um uh, what do you call it building there because that's just the way reflections work now I've got to sorry got to dry that okay where are we need a flat is that a flat yes I'm just going to wash one of my flats for a moment wipe it pick up another color um, pretty much the um, I'll grab a bit of this and see what that does inside there. Yeah, that colour's nice. Not too much quinacridone and that yellow ochre. Just to finish off some of these buildings. Give them a bit of detail and where are we there? This is I'll probably detail these buildings a lot more too um, off camera because I'm not going to have enough time here to, through this painting I want to put some fine lines in that everywhere so just to detail it yeah because I want to get the um, that little green bank that I put on there, that's going to help that top bit a lot. So I'm going to use that same brush, pick up, I've dried it up there. Now I want the green mixed with the yellow here, and I just want to give that bank, is that dry enough, I hope? We'll see in the guts give it a bit of a broadness let some of the black show through like so where'd that color go come wide twist it a bit more And then we put a nice skinny dark line in the middle of that just to accentuate the top and bottom depth to, and allow the water to make it look like what it is. Just got to quickly draw that where's simple black there we go simple blacks there i want a nice sharp tight flat brush to chisel on the black paint so as we can get a beautiful dark line in the middle of the um foreshore there in the middle i'll get that black over here so i can reach the so i could reach it just just bear with me a moment okay now that's inky enough yay now i need my bullshit stick we've got to get right in the guts of that green there is that camera there yes right in the guts of that green 
So hold your stick there and get this right in the guts of that green there, not too fat. This is the top and bottom where the water's hitting that bank there. It's important to have this there. Because when I put the water there, um, you'll see why. Okay, where are we? Green grass. We've got our green here. So we just need an appropriate brush. I'm gonna use, oh, I'll, I'll try this one, just a scratchy, um, what do you call it? Um, I'm getting, just getting the yellow and the green mixed up. It's a filbert, a hog bristle filbert, this one. I'm just gonna see if it'll work. Okay, over here. And we're just going to try and paint some grass there. But I don't like that, it's making a lot of frowny mouths. So what I'll do, I need to wash me put her on a brush. I better mix up some more because there's just not enough on the palette. And um, I'm gonna want <coughs> a fair whack there. So I'll just grab the forest green and the cadmium yellow. <sighs> a bit of cadmium yellow. I'll bring you down to the palette so you can see what I'm doing. And I want to get this to the colour I want. And I'm going to use the edge of this brush just to get that happening. Okay. And I can highlight it with some more yellow if I need, if I need to, if I need to. I'm not going to muck around too much. I'll just quickly <laughs> hit this on. This will be one layer. Golly. And then we can paint the stool on there. I'm getting it all kind of lineal, going towards that same vanishing point. I probably need this paint a bit wetter. You know what? There we go. And every time I do a different, like if I was to put another colour on top of this, I'll dry this layer, just so as we can get everything happening. I'm gonna look in my monitor and just see if that's working. If it's not, I'll have to do something different. <laughs> it is, but I'll just kind of make it look like lawn. Oh yeah, there we go, we're getting a bit of, there we go, get a bit more in there anyways. That's it, there you go. Right up the top there. Mm. It's there, oh yeah, bits of... Come on. Now I will put the yellow, grabbing the yellow, grabbing the yellow. It's still wet up there, but not the way I want mainly right on the edge there. And we'll just sort of grassulate this area here with some fascinating looking grass. Eh? If it, hopefully it looks like grass. <laughs> Come on, you dare get on there, you idiot. Get on there. There we go. Sort of out this area. It's not wet. I should have dried it, but, you know, look at that. That looks all right in the um, thingity-bob there, eh? And I might put a little bit just jostling from underneath there a bit. Jostling through there. There we go, all the way over there.
still a bit to go in this painting, believe it or not. Uh, where else are we? That's looking okay. The water, I've got to quickly grab the glaze. Is that the glaze here? Glazing medium, yes. I'm just going to put some of this down onto the... Um, get rid of those knives because I'm not using them. I'm just putting some glaze on top of the... Um, what do you call it? Um, where's my brush first? Um, palette. Now, we'll find some white. See that glaze I've put there? Teeny weeny bit of white, just a, just a teeny weeny bit in the brush. Is that black still? Yeah, it is. You need the most cleanest brush for this. So I'm gonna try and find another flat uh, let me look, let me look. Oh my goodness, where's all the flats? I'll have to use that one that had some green in it. Because if it's got any contamination in it, it'll come up in the glaze. That'll do. So back here, getting a bit of this white into the brush and then bomb it up with the rest of that glaze, okay? And this will act like a film on top of your water. Hopefully. See that line, the black line out there? Grab your bullshit stick. And instead of using a knife, I like to use this. Oh yeah, nice. Nice and... Here we go. Nice and thin. So it looks like the water's kissing that edge out there. Is that dry or wet? Put the... Uh, put the stick up now. I just wanted it for there because I want to get some film of water just sinking enough of these reflections down in the water here like this. But keeping them in cahoots with the horizon line so the horizon line's there, so are these. These are just, you know, instead of using a knife and putting big, fat, cartoony white lines on there, I like to gloss it. I mean, glaze it with a teared bit of white, and it just acts like a, a film, sinks all the reflections down. Over here. Yay, said Ray. There we go. Could probably put a little bit there. Does that look like film? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where are we up to? Is that dry? Yep. I'm just going to do the... Um, Burnt umber with the white here. Where's the white gone? There it all is. Because it's pretty much a, a grey burnt umber, that seat. Get your paint a bit wet so it's going to work. Get a bit more wet, your dang. Burnt umber and white. Burnt umber and white. Just to that. So I want to grey the umber up. And I'm just going to. Map in that sink real quick. Uh, map in that seat real quick. So I've got an idea where it still is there. There. Boom. I'm using a flat because I feel a flat does it the way I want it to go. If you want, you can even just paint this seat on there first. Detail it in your own time mask it up and then paint your painting over it and then reveal the park bench. That is dry. 
Now we'll finish mapping this in. We'll get it nice and woody looking as well. And what's wider that part there? So I'm just get that a bit wet. Come on. Sounds like I'm giving birth. Yeah, you go. All right. Now we'll just put the dark areas in and finish it off. Just let me finish this bit here. Boom, boom. Okay, now we'll put a darker bit. So I'm just pulling some of the darker burn umber and which is pretty much this edge. Okay, where's our camera? There it is. And where are we? Yeah, there. There, coming down and around. And so it does it properly. Just bear with me, I'm gonna dry that. Okay, getting the darker color now that we've dried the lighter color. And we wanna come across there. We wanna leave the top of that bright because it's thick planked park bench, all right? And then just pull this down. Oh, or even do it long ways, whichever tickles your fancy. Get that right down there, all over here like that. Yeah, this is all darkish. This is all bore darky. Yeah, my bore darky. There we go. It's all wood, so it doesn't matter. It can be all scratchy and uh, condulated. Condulated means it's condulated. All right. <laughs> I can talk shit at times. Come on. Get up there. Okay. Bit around here now. Get the side of this just. There we go, there we go. See, when it's dry, it works it's beautiful, eh? Beauty, new. Uh, that can have the slightest dark bit scurried in there. Scurry means it's scurried in. See? And then I'll pick up a bit of the bright bit again, and I'll just wear the edge of this thickness is, and I just want to Scurry in, or should they be darker colours? Some, maybe some darker. Just want to scurry in. I'll pick up a bit of the dark as well. I'm just pulling in some any dark colour there, a bit of blackish, because it's dark. Put the slightest dark line up there and one here like that. Okay, now the rest is pretty, I need a smaller, here it is here, I need a smaller, so I'm mixing up that brown with black now, just putting some black with that brown that I had, and I'm just going to simply put those seat legs in that like they are in the actual photo, they're just really dark, down here like that, there's one there, can you see that, we will when I put the lights on, and there's a bit of a brace 
all the way there. I need to get that wet so it's going to transfer better. And then we'll come all the way down there like that. Okay, because that's the way the park bench braces are for the legs. There's one there. There's one in the guts. Is there three or four? Yeah, there's three. There's one in the guts there. And one on the very end there. One on the very end there like that. Go within perspective of your painting. I'm just grabbing the smaller square brush, flat brush to get those braces in. So we're going to come about here and bring it down and around like that. That was a lot easier than the first one. And the same on this one here. Okay, we'll fix this one up. What is in there? A little bit of white highlighting some, not white, but lighter value of that colour. So I'm going to grab some white and just grey it up a bit. And just, where are you? Emulate means you're emulating something, emulate some bolts. Something just getting hit by the light. I'll wipe that off and scramble the puppy out of that. There we go. Yeah, how's that looking all right? Oh crap. Does that look all right or a bit silly? I forgot to breathe when painting. All right, we've got a park bench there. I can detail this. I'll tell you what I do want to do though that's um, in the painting is get the darkest green with the black. Uh, find it. I'm grabbing the um, a sharp flat because there are some little reeds in the grass there but that one's just not sharp enough. I want a really good flat that'll do that. I think my little flat um, cat tongue filbert will do it. So they're pretty dark. It's the darkest greeny black, I suppose. And just chisel your paintbrush and make them so little grey. Oh, I'll try and get them straight though. Any more out there? Yeah, there's quite a bit floating around. I can add them later. But you get the gist of what I mean, eh? Uh, I'll, I'm going to put more of those in off camera because we're running over time here and I don't want to spend all evening painting this. Okay, there, yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway. <sighs> All right. How's it looking? And I will detail the buildings up too because they look a bit, well, goodness me. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, we'll use a, I'll use a bright greeny yellow down there, yes, for the autograph. I'm going to autograph it and then we'll whack a frame on it just to see how she looks anyway. And once again, thank you to Lisa Maria Longo for letting me use her photo as a reference. We'll put an autograph about here. Yeah, look at that. Check out the links in the description below. All my art's for sale. When you buy my art, you're supporting my content. And the art looks better in person than what it does on a photo. Okay, let's whack a frame on this and see how it looks. 
Oh, my milk's gone warm, probably. Yeah, I'm gonna fix those buildings up. They need depth in them, they need darkness. See, there's no darkness in there. Okay. All right, there we go. We've got Lisa Maria Longo's painting there with a park bench on the side of a lake and the house is over there. Domestic sunset, that is, isn't it, A eh? Domestic sunset, not too shabby, I don't think. And just remember, you can do that and you can probably even do better than that, eh? Hey? All righty. Battery's low, it wants to use slow-mo or whatever. All right, if you like what I'm doing, you tell your friends, but if you don't, you tell everybody, all right? All the best, goodbye, good luck, and good on you.